hello there i hope you guys are doing absolutely fine so we're gonna create this character i mean especially not this character we're gonna just gonna learn how to create a character so mainly i'm going to show the techniques or how to create your own character what are the steps and also if you're new to this clip then it's completely fine you can surely create it also if you're someone who is not into art then you can also create this as a fun therapy as there are rules over here and you can create whatever you want so we're gonna take our fabricate molded clay and take take it only in required amounts as this clay hardens in 1.5 hours and don't throw these wrappers away we can use them to create the inner skeleton or the inner body of the figure now just try to roll them as much as possible and then apply masking tape on them so that they don't get uh, unwrapped later on now i have chosen this shape for my character you can choose a square shape or even a circular shape which whichever shape you want you can choose it and now i'm creating the eyes just adding few clay over there and i'm trying to smooth it by using water and also the excess clay which is remaining i'll make the shoes from that now it's very easy thing to make shoes but you can choose any other way you know the main thing of creating this is that there is no specific character or something like that so you can create whatever you want so after 2 hours when the eyes are completely dry now so i am currently using a new mixed clay and i am i create the upper body part of it so at start i am only creating the upper body part because while working with this clay you will need to work parts by parts as this clay it gets hardened in 1.5 hours and now I'm creating the eyes using a pin tool. I'm just giving a proper shape to the eyes. You can also try to give any kind of expression to him. I mean, whatever you can, you want, you can do. I'm just showing the techniques. There is no such thing that you have to make it completely exactly this way. So now I've currently created this and I have kept it to dry on this old paint bottle. But then now I'm thinking that I should add some more details to him. Now, this is completely unplanned, okay? I have not planned nor I have any designs or not have any sketches related to this. I am just creating whatever thoughts come, thoughts come into my mind. And since my head has completely been dried out, I can fold the head and then I can create the lower body like this. It is again very easy. I, I have given him two feet. If you don't want to give him two feet, it's completely your choice. I mean, whatever thing you want. I'm just trying to give him creases. Just in case if you don't have any tools, you can give the minor creases like this with the help of your hands. And the shoes now which are completely dry, I have now adding it, adding it to his body. You can see over here. I am also giving a hole to his for his two arms so that later on I can insert uh, metal wires over there. Also I have stuck the shoes when the clay was complete, not completely hard, just a little hard. And I will try to give some uh, folds or some uh, decreases to his shirt using a pin tool just like this. I'm not making it much too complicated. You can do it it any way you want. And also I'm giving a texture to his clothes by using this cloth. You can see there has been a good texture over him now. So I removed the hairs of this old damaged brush and now I can use this to make his buttons. See right that looks great right? Now if you don't have wires it's completely fine. You can choose not to give hands because it's your character. You can do whatever you want. Just don't think much, just create because it's your character. And that's how you can wrap the clay on the wire and you can give him a hand shape like that. Uh, it's kind of simple, Might not you might not get that at start but depends on you how much uh, big you So also I'm adding some minor details to him right now like that. Depends if you want to do these, you can, if you don't want to, don't do. It's completely your choice. So he's ready now but as you can see there are some uh, clay issues over here and there there are some holes so I think they're, they're, those need correction. So for that take some well mixed clay, new mixed clay and then add it over there whichever parts which you want to fill up because while working you, there, there are usually holes and there happens to be some mistakes so do, you can use the new mixed clay, wet clay to cover this up. As you can see I'm just adding the clay and also I'm using a spatula to you know just cover this up to spread or smudge this up and still you can see that there are few things that needs to be smoothened up so what i'll do is i use the sandpaper over here and i'll just rub it over here you can see that easily can be smoothened up later you can uh, i'm currently using a 220 number sandpaper you can get these at any hardware shops use sandpaper only after the full clay is completely hardened don't use it before and you can see our character now is ready I have used done all the sanding process as much as I can and 
I guess now it's ready and I guess now he's ready for painting. So if you're a beginner, it's very important that you create characters like this because it helps you understand this clay a lot and it also helps you build or boost your confidence. So I never suggest to create difficult characters at start because you might lose interest in this clay. So do try these techniques out and make your own characters and I would love to see them. Please do post it on your Instagram and do tag me. Till then see you next time with a new creation.